Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the fourth graduation of the Social Business Accelerator Program. I'm Masi Atim. Capital Solutions is a social enterprise that inspires, transforms, and builds the capacity of social entrepreneurs who are working with low-income communities in Africa. It was built out of the need to build sustainable social enterprises through improved access to finance, designing innovative and impactful solutions. We offer a 360 degree platform for engaging social entrepreneurs, mainly the small and medium sized enterprises run by the youth and women to access capital, build entrepreneurial skills, create innovative and economic solutions and eventually support the most pressing social needs. Since 2022, Capital Solutions has been running a 360 WEN project in partnership with Mukazipreneur, supported by Aspen Network of Development Entrepreneurs and the United States Agency for International Development. The project was launched on March 17, 2020 as an end-to-end -end solution to foster an ecosystem to support women-led businesses and drive the gender lens ecosystem in East Africa. Through Capital Solutions Social Investment Fund, we have provided affordable capital to some women social entrepreneurs to boost their businesses. We have also connected women, which has bridged the gap in access to finance by women entrepreneurs. Most women entrepreneurs from this program have been enrolled to the Social Entrepreneurship Forum as a networking platform which connects social entrepreneurs in Africa. We are proud of the outcome of this program as it has addressed the most pressing needs of women entrepreneurs. For instance, access to finance, markets, networking spaces and capacity building. We will be sharing with you a few of the women entrepreneurs who have been able to get visibility, have access to finance and have been mentored during the course of this program. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Hanifa Namala Sengendo, an adolescent health expert, CEO Stepping Stone Platform Limited. We offer an integrated package to teenagers and young people in sexuality and reproductive health life skills, career coaching, mental health, and, and personal growth. First of all, when I joined the Accelerator program, I was even fearing to talk about Stepping Stone platform. Why? Because I was not sure what my niche is, what my purpose is. So what happened is that when I joined the Accelerator program, first of all, I was able to understand that I am working with a social enterprise solving a community problem that was key number one understanding that for example teenagers have problems they have lack of knowledge but also embedding in the business arm oh my god you can't even believe stepping stone we couldn't we did not have a single document but when we joined the accelerator program the financials, the legal, the marketing. Now you cannot fail at least to find the Stepping Stone platform on one of the social media handles. That was so, so powerful. As if that was not enough, the networking. Dr. Joyce and her team made sure that whatever the opportunity, we would actually appear. That is really very, very critical because we live in the era of social networks. By the way, the add-on of mentorship, that nailed it, because I had that individual contact with my mentor. The way they would really grill us to ensure that we remain focused so that the social and business really connect. That individual mentorship did not only help the stepping stone, but it also helped me as a person. My name is Akampra Doreen Masiko the CEO and founder of CompConsult Technologies. CompConsult Technologies was founded in 2008. Our mission is to improve Ugandan's education service through sustainable digital transformation. And our vision is to build a world where every student has equal access technology through sustainable IT solutions, providing access to high quality discounted long lasting equipments for education in Uganda. Our impact is majorly on youth and women. We strive to ensure that every youth has an affordable laptop and is able to adjust to their evolving information technology. I am a member of 360 Capital Solutions, a social entrepreneur network. It has helped us so much to evolve our business 
from just being capitalists to social entrepreneurs, doing business where we have an impact in the society. Since we joined SAFE, we were able to access finances at a very low interest rate and we are able to improve on our businesses so, so much. We have been able to go through the six months accelerator program, get more networks, know what other women are doing, and the impact has been so much on our business. We are not the same since we joined the last six months. We have had people who have come in through referrals, and we have had those people who have come in because they need to have digital transformation. Thank you so much, 360 Capital Solutions. My name is Violet Kukundakwe Mugera, the Managing Director of Nesting Farm Enterprises. We are the leading suppliers of organic yellow yolk eggs, tasty hens, and organic manure. We are located in Maganjo, Mau, that is in Wakiso. We joined Capital Solutions Limited in 2022, and this has been a very great experience for us. We, it has built my confidence personally, and it has built the exposure of nesting farm enterprises. We have been exposed uh, in, in social media. We have gotten exposure to um, companies like uh, the Daily Monitor that have seen our work mainly due to Capital Solutions Limited and have put us into the newspapers and that has opened doors for us to other clients and people who have wanted to learn from us. In the Capital Solutions uh, program, I have had the opportunity to interact with other ladies. We've shared our challenges and realized that the challenges are not unique to myself. And we've been able to share solutions, especially through the persons that Capital Solutions had brought for us, like Taslav, uh, persons that were able to teach us about taxation, about um, marketing, and this has greatly helped our company because we now market better. We know to, to target better markets, because like right now we, we sell our tray of eggs at at least 500 shillings more as compared to the general market price. This brings in more revenue for us. Yeah, thank you. I'm Birinj Eva Grace, a farmer. Professionally, I'm a nurse. Before I heard about Capital Solutions, it was just another world out there. I was just a normal farmer, not knowing so much with finances, not knowing so much with branding, not knowing a lot. But before, beginning of last year, there was an advertisement of Capital Solutions. At first, I thought it's funding, but the knowledge I got from Capital Solutions enabled me to get so many connections. One of it is Annabelle, and another is UNIFA, Ghana National Farmers Association, Young Farmers Association, and that has given me another visibility. But through the trainings of Capital Solutions, I've got other so many visibility in the world. First of all, Capital Solutions, thank you so much for the training. The most training that I received so much is branding myself. I've branded myself, I've made my products better, I've made my product more valuable among people because it's one brand that has not been in the Ugandan make market. I add value to the, cream, to the eggs by making cream liquor and also add value to the eggs by making pasta. That cream liquor has not been in Uganda, but through branding and increasing my visibility in other sectors around my circles has improved my way of working. And that's thanks to Capital Solutions. Through Capital Solutions, I, I joined SAFE, the Social Investment Funds, and that has made me know other ways because there are so many coffee sessions that has made me get more knowledge still on business. And through SAFE, I was enrolled into the social investment funds and that I was able to get funds at a low interest rate and that has still enabled my business to gain machineries that has increased the make of 
wine in bulk in bulk and also supply in bulk increase. We would like to share the profiles of the graduates and their journey of how their businesses have scaled. Masi Atugonza, Managing Director of Banura Coffee Limited, a coffee-based youth business that deals in a wide range of services, for example, skilling the youth into coffee chain value and sell roasted coffee, both beans and ground. Hope Okenyi, Director of Milk Matters, a dairy farm and dairy production business that sells raw milk and processes milk by adding value and work with local farmers by providing market access to their milk. Angela Namubiru, the founder of Atlas Craft Collection, the purpose of their business is to conserve the environment and yet still earn a living through using materials that would have polluted the water drainages and caused environmental degradation such as bottle tops, cloth cutoffs, ropes, plastic cargo. They may use these to make beautiful items for sale and this has helped to improve the standards of living of the young girls they work with. Rita Terumara, the managing director of Birgood Holdings Limited that deals in healthy and beauty products such as showering gloves, masks for white and black spots, vinegar for weight loss and this has improved on the well-being of their customers. Ruth Faith Ojok, founder of Enviri Toto, children hair care, whose services are dedicated to extending affordable, high-quality, child-friendly services that help the little girls to enjoy their hair experience while wearing their hair in different exciting, child-friendly styles that allow them to be confident and experience their best and authentic selves while creating more time and convenience for their moms to go about their business without worrying about the safety and comfort of their daughters. Gudu Naiga, founder of Goody Leisure Farm, whose aim is to address the challenge of unemployment through transforming 5,000 youth into a proactive, productive plant and profitable agripreneurs. Maria Kiza, founder and director of Kigoma Smart Women in Environment and Development Organization Limited, involved in oyster mushroom growing and value addition. Their key objective is to improve women's incomes, nutrition for families, and economic empowerment. Brenda Mbabazi, the team leader of All Things Beautiful Limited, was created to help people appreciate plants and their benefits to us. They aim at teaching people that they can create havens in their spaces using plants and also gain from their decorative and medical purposes. Florence Banoba, the medical director of Burns Medicare Limited, is a health support service that brings holistic health services to the community and to every doorstep through bedside nursing services, group health management, patient transportation, house calls and consultations, and home care medical equipment and customized first aid kits. To Mushabe Oliver Tugume, director of Mama Muchara Enterprises, that deals in the supply of fresh oyster mushrooms, passion fruits, Irish potatoes in Kampala and Wakiso district. They also do training on how to grow mushrooms and other business skills are the major activities for these enterprises. Immaculate Emma Kiyomukama is the technical director of Aqua Solutions International Limited, a company that was initiated by a group of four women scientists in this water sector. A business that distributes and retails water testing equipment, laboratory chemicals and reagents. They carry out affordable water quality tests for clients like industries, hospitals, NGOs, sanitation organizations, among others. Their vision is to reach most remote communities with affordable water solutions and promote good health with quality water. Violet Kukundakwe, the managing director of Nesting Farm Enterprise, a modern poultry farm that deals in layer hens and has grown from 250 to 4,000 layers in the last 10 years. There is a huge demand of eggs in Uganda and they are looking to expanding to 20,000 birds in the next years in order to increase supply of eggs, of layers and organic manure. Niwambanya Josephine is an associate at Murangira, Kasande and co-advocates. It is a typical law farm and boutique law practice that has been in existence since 2006 and they basically provide legal, corporate and commercial services to both individuals and private entities. Lillian Diho, the director of Park Shubi Limited, a leisure and hospitality sector. They run an eco-friendly adventure park in Entebbe and they provide fun and adventure in a serene environment with emphasis on nature conservation. Christine Nakazi, co-founder of Arise Africa Medical Center that offers medical services to both in and out patients. They focus on providing health services to the surrounding community. Teddy Namugede, CEO of Tena Crafts, a footwear company making customized products, had made du durable and long-lasting footwear using genuine leather and out-of-tires to ease and offer comfort to the customers. 
Betty Nakalembe, CEO of Vine International Trading Company, a tailoring center located in Kiebando Parish in Kawempe, based in skilling youth and women in community, seeking knowledge for immediate use. Their trainees are skilled in making dresses, shirts, trousers, jackets, uniforms. Hawa Nambiru, Managing Director of Camelot Agroecology, a poultry farm focusing on layer birds for eggs as a side income hustle. Along the way, they got overwhelmed by the increased manure output on the farm. Through their research, they discovered that manure could be used to produce biomass briquettes. Juliana Basirika, CEO of Juvi Investment Uganda Limited, majorly dealing in confectionery items including all ceremonial cakes, cookies, bread, pastry and others, and others easy to market snacks and provision of catering services. Nina Samalinamfuka, founder of Nina's Weekend Kitchen that offers catering services for events with fast foods, finger foods. They also offer breakfast from Monday to Friday through a fast come service. Betty Zizinga Kadu, founder of Best West Limited, a social enterprise recycling organic waste in partnership with the community of West Pickers at Kitezi Landfill to make carbonized fuel cooking briquettes, energy saving stoves, and other low cost recycled waste products. Dorina Kampodira, founder of Comconsult Technology, an IT company that deals in systems, enterprise resource planners, hardware, software, as well as partner of Lenovo, HP, and Apple. It is a flexible partner that helps businesses track and manage by giving them innovative ideas and solutions that drastically seize them to the next chapter using IT. Roy Nakimera Ndaura, founder of Tupendane African Wear, a Ugandan-based company that manufactures African wear from local fabrics for both ladies and gentlemen. Their main customers are locals from within the country. Maria Antare, co-founder of Rima Limited, an outsiding catering company that sells ladies' clothes and shoes and sells food supplies. They also conduct cooking classes for different groups of people who want to learn an alternative, fast and easy way to prepare a meal. Hanifa Senge Ndonamala, founder of Stepping Stone Platform that conducts community-driven projects, schools, family or home-based counseling. They do mentorship and coaching to empower, improve personal expression, self-respect, communication, and the youth to reclaim their bodily autonomy using the most effective approaches to sexual education that promote human rights, advance gender equality, decision making and self-esteem. Bernadette Ojao, founder of BB Pads Limited, a menstrual hygiene management company that produces reusable sanitary pads and offers training to schools and organizations working with women and girls. Ganda Aisha is the founder of Snacks for You, a social enterprise which delivers healthy, tasty snacks and spices for home, school, office, and events. Their products include, among others, pumpkin seeds, peanuts, simsim, ground nuts, soya beans, and a number of tea and food spices. They also arrange diets for people with special nutritional and healthy needs with their products. Eunice Atuhaire, founder of African Mushroom Growers Limited, a farming and production company that produces and deals in mushroom growing and its value-added products. Their products include mushroom gardens, fresh, fresh mushrooms, dry mushrooms, mushroom powder, mushroom wines, and other mushroom production materials like cotton and seed husks. Natavi Ruth, CEO of Ego Tours and Adventures Limited, a young female-owned tour company aiming at showing the world the beauty of the Pearl of Africa and the East African region. They mostly focus on luxury and mid-range clientele and offer services like safaris, vacations, weekend getaways, adventures, and honeymoon. Carolina Shaba, co-founder of Lish Glow Skin Jelly, a Vaselino jelly business that makes skin jelly and liquid soap for mild purpose use. Lish Glow Skin Jelly is the solution to those with sensitive skin and normal skin for it is soft and includes natural herbs like aloe vera, making it healthy for the skin and it is very affordable. Jacqueline Kambabazi, director of Akijak Uganda Limited, a beekeeping business that is based in Fort Porto. Rose Mutonyi, deputy director of Thrain Business Enterprises, specialized in printery services, which include typing, binding, engraving, stationery, and offers internet services to the community. Rachel Nantale, CEO of Raquel Naturals, a natural hair care brand that offers comprehensive advice and guidance based on their clientele's needs. Jamila Adam, director of This Little Light Preschool, 
in Busabala, they offer high quality Montessori curriculum at affordable fees and their purpose is to transform the community through offering the best education, moral trainings of these little ones at affordable rates. Berundi Eva Grace, Managing Director of Passion Farm, a research oriented farmland whose aim is to help scale urban farmers in poultry into large scale. They add value to eggs by making macrons and reduce egg wastage and supply market in Uganda. Atwere Cynthia, the CEO of Silos Confectionery, a bakery that is dedicated to making quality edible cakes ranging from everyday cakes to wedding cakes. Margaret Nakanwaji, CEO Maggie Steps Fashion and Events. They do decorations of all kinds and make cakes and they also employ young people in all fields and train them in practical skills in tailoring, cake making and decorations. Lillian Piso Bentu, co-founder of Vision Center of Skills and Solutions for Africa. They provide online presence through professional website development, yearly web hosting, mobile applications, digital skilling, and business plan development. Elizabeth Aguma, CEO of LOF Early Limited, an agricultural enterprise that is focused on growing a variety of organic healthy foods in a sustainable manner that conserves resources and the environment. They also rare dairy goats, which offer one of the most nutritious milk and is very good for consumption and a very good ingredient in beauty products. My name is Dr. Joyce Tamale, the co-founder and CEO of Capital Solutions Limited. Together with our co-implementing partner, Mukazpreneur, we are super excited to be at this moment in time where we are celebrating the 100 women entrepreneurs who have been part of the Women Entrepreneurs Network program. This program has been supported by ANDE and USAID. We are so thankful to our partners who have enabled the women in Uganda to scale, to learn, to be empowered, to access finance through the WEN program. We are also proud of the fact that collaborations have come along the way. We've had key partners like Equity Bank, Macquarie University College of Business and Management, Taslaf Advocate, among others. They've joined us to ensure that the women can be able to scale their businesses.